This video will introduce you to the basic operations of Notes Plus, the best-selling iPad note-taking app. To create a new note, tap the Notes button at the top of the screen, then tap Plus. Your note will automatically be named with the date, but tapping on the name in the toolbar allows you to easily rename the note. To take notes, just write on the screen. Shapes are auto-detected and turned into real vector drawings that you can manipulate, just like computer-generated objects. To add type text, tap with two fingers. To go back to drawing and handwriting mode, either tap in your notes or touch the hide keyboard key. If you make a mistake while writing, tap undo, or just scribble it out and watch it disappear. To delete larger sections of notes, draw a circle around what you want to erase, then tap delete. Circling notes also lets you select and move them. You can change the color and thickness of your writing by tapping the palette button on the toolbar or by going into the settings. There, you'll also find options for auto-generated shapes, along with different backgrounds for your virtual notepad. To change the style of text or drawings you've already done, circle to select, then tap the palette button or change the font style in settings. Just choose the setting you want. The selected items will change instantly. As you use Notes Plus, your most recent font and line styles will be stored in the quick access list, accessible through the palette button, so you don't have to go into settings to get to your favorite options. If you want to start a new page within your note, tap the Next Page button at the bottom of the screen. Alternately, you can just drag upwards with two fingers until you see the animated page turn. To go back, drag down instead of up. To delete a page, tap the Notes button, then tap your current note. Here, you can swipe to delete, or tap Edit to rearrange your pages. You can't delete the only page in a one-page note, but you can delete whole notes from the notes list by swiping from left to right, then tapping Delete. If you delete something accidentally, look for it in the trash. You can swipe from left to right to restore it. Notes Plus also records audio and syncs the recordings to the pages of each notebook. To record, simply tap the microphone icon, then continue taking notes as you normally would. You can listen to the recordings within the app, but you can't currently delete a recording without deleting the associated note. Tapping record when you already have an audio note saves the first clip and makes another one. Beyond simply writing, typing, and recording, Notes Plus has a special close-up writing mode that automatically shrinks your handwriting as you write, and scrolls the page for you as well. To use this mode, tap and hold where you'd like to write, then simply write in the box from left to right until you get near the right edge. You'll see a ghost of what you're writing appear on the left, and if you continue writing in that gray area, the box will auto-scroll to the right or to a new line, allowing you to handwrite a whole page without needing to scroll or zoom. If you want to control close-up writing mode manually, you can use the buttons in the top right corner of the box to jump ahead or skip to a new line. And when you're done with close-up writing mode, just tap in the area where you've already written. You'll go right back to standard mode to continue writing and drawing anywhere you'd like. If you want to write with a stylus, or just rest your hand on the screen as you write with your finger, tap the palm pad tab at the bottom, then adjust the gray area to cover the part of the page where you want to put your hand. If you lift your hand a bit and slide it down, the palm pad will follow, allowing you to write many lines of text comfortably. Of course, many of the advanced features of Notes Plus are optional. The App Settings tab in the Settings area lets you turn off shape recognition, adjust how you enter text, turn off the scribble out to delete gesture, and more. There's a lot to Notes Plus, so be sure to play around. If you have questions, visit notesplusapp.com for help.